And this particular event is uh, to announce the launch of version 2.0 of the Impossible Burger. If you cook meat, magic happens. You get this explosion of chemical reactions that produce the explosion of flavor and aroma with cooking meat that's unlike anything you get from any plant. We had to discover the kind of molecular secrets behind that magic in order to be able to make a product that could deliver for meat eaters. Over the past two years, we uh, set a bunch of targets to make it better in every way that matters to meat eaters. More delicious flavor, juicier, more versatile in the kitchen, uh, better nutritional profile, lower calorie, lower fat, lower saturated fat, gluten-free, as well as more sustainable but not just more sustainable, which is easy. The hard part is we have to make them more delicious to meat eaters. And the reason that it's at a tech conference, which is kind of an unusual thing for a food company, is that the technology that we're developing in Impossible Foods is unquestionably the most important technology uh, in the world for the future of humanity. We're a startup. Um, when we launched, we had very limited production capacity. And the most important thing we wanted to accomplish with every sale was to build awareness and, uh, and build our brand. What I think is really going to be a game changer is when we can make our product available to consumers in uh, retail. Because up till now, they've only been able to experience as a cooked product served them in a restaurant. What's going to blow their mind is when they cook it themselves and they see for the first time a plant-based product that does the magical things that meat does uh, in the kitchen.